Hello ladies and anyways, today I have the most important video, arguably, that I have ever made. How to play the game of life and win. So in this video, we will be thinking of life in terms of a video game. When you start to think of it this way, everything will make more sense to you. It actually took two years of being told this by my friend for me to finally understand what he meant and to start to be able to play this game correctly. Because before, I would hate the game and not want to be a player. And I know a lot of you at home will be exactly the same. But the truth is, we're a player no matter what. And you can either be a good player, hack the game and win, or you can be a shitty player and just fall behind. So if you have no choice but to be a player, then be a good one. You can hate the game, but hating the game is not going to change the game. An example is on my second channel, I talked about how if you want to become one of the best in the world at something or you want to be competitive and stand out, you're going to have to work harder in order to stand out. And then a lot of people were like, this is just capitalism, feeding into capitalism, which is bad. Baby, capitalism is not going to go away overnight. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Let's begin with number one, time. You can't even see it. You can't even see it. Editor, aka me, just, okay, you can't even see that, whatever. So, time. Time is the most important resource in any game because we have a limited amount of it, right? So it's important that with the limited amount of time we have, we allocate it to learning the skills and allocating it towards the resources which will reap us the most rewards. If you are allocating your time to things that are not going to have a positive ROI or a positive impact on you, what are you doing? You're wasting your life. You're not going anywhere. Which leads to number two, our avatar. Who we are in this game and in this life. In a video game, every avatar is different. For example, in Mario Kart, whatever character you choose, the car, aka the resource, is different. So maybe if you pick Bowser, you're heavier and you're stronger, or you have a better weapon, but you're slower. Or then, then you have someone like Peach, who is more agile and fast. I think it's Peach. That's just an example. Every avatar is completely different. And that's something we can't change. Some of us are born more beautiful, we're born smarter, healthier, wealthier. That's something we can't change. A lot of people will spend their time complaining about how others have more and the inequalities and injustice in this world that it's just not going to change that much. We can't change the fact that some people are nepotism babies. So instead of crying about how someone is more beautiful, you can also become more beautiful, which is a point we'll get to later. We all have different bars which can re represent our skills and resources, attributes, whatever we have, even environment, location, which is what we're going to get into in a little bit. I need to stress at the beginning, health. Health is ultimately the most important bar. Why? If you don't have your health, you have nothing. Health is wealth. This also means not taking bad risks. These are things which will obviously impact your health and then impact other areas. Health also matters the most and is the key to achieving success in the other areas and leveling up those bars because think of this, you jeopardize your sleep and maybe your fitness in order to work more hours because you think it's going to bring you more money. But because you are so sleep deprived and unhealthy and fatigued, you actually do not have the mental focus in order to do good work or work that would be better if you were healthy. Alex Becker in his videos actually talks about this a lot, but when he wants to do deep focus work, he doesn't eat because his brain is faster and he has better ideas and he can concentrate more because, you know, he's not digesting food. This is something that took me so long to understand that you need to work smarter, not harder. And the key to working smarter is to also hack your health and to focus on your health, which is why I said in many of my school videos, don't study more and then sleep less because you're not going to retain the information anyway where are you investing your time and what are you investing your time into different skills is going to determine what job you get and also what you get in life so you'll often hear this argument from people where they're like oh working harder isn't everything because for example a job that's very strenuous like a cleaning job they work such long hours but they're not getting paid that much, while someone in like a software career is getting paid more for working less hours. Now, every time someone brings that argument up to me, I'm like, I don't understand how that's your argument because it's facts and it comes down to a skill issue. So you can say something like, working hard is not good because 
people who work hard in a cleaning job aren't anymore. And it's like, yes, because they're in a cleaning job. But if you're working harder in an industry that's gonna reward you for more hard work, or for example, working on your business, then obviously that will bring more money as well. This is where it comes down to skills. What skill or skills is going to pay off the most? Right now, in my opinion, it's sales. If you know how to sell, you can sell anything. Two, AI, learn that. Computer science, anything to do with technology is going to reap you the most. So why would you waste your time focusing on skills which you know are not gonna reap you a lot of rewards? and then complain about how you need to work so hard. It's a skill issue. Focus on earning the skills which will enable you to do more, to earn more, and then do less. Talk to any millionaire, billionaire, watch any advice from a wealthy person on, hey, what should I invest $1,000 into? And they will say, your brain, your knowledge, yourself, because you are your biggest investment. If you invest into that, course, for example, it will bring you more money. You invest into becoming more beautiful. People will respect you more. You will get better treatment. Maybe make better connections because people will, will want to be around you. Hey, you can hate pretty privilege, but it exists. And we will talk about this more later. You need to continuously be learning new things, being up to date with what's going on in the world. Otherwise you're going to fall behind. Fact. This is why I'm so big on moving. And I always talk about moving out of Australia because I know for a fact, the life I want, I cannot get it in Australia. And Australia would not give me the life I want either. The people here are too different to what I like. The environment is too different, as in the market here, the mentality is very different to America, for example. You need to find a location in which you're thriving. Because don't forget, every avatar, they come with different attributes and skill sets and needs, and they would thrive in different environments. Also, for example, if you're in the wrong location, you won't have access to the same dating pool. For example, the dating pool in Australia, not good. My husband is not here. Facts. Ladies, men, where are you going to be the hottest as well? If you're an objective six, why would you go to Miami where you're competing with some of the world's most attractive women? And in terms of career and location, where are your skills the most in demand? Where are you going to get the highest paying salary? Where do your natural talents and abilities go further? Network, network, network. You need to expand your network, meet as many people as possible. Because in a game, it's much easier to win the game if you have team players. And if all your team players also have a good amount of resources, because then you can borrow the resources, you can share the resources. And when networking, these people can connect you to other people. For example, I have this friend and she networks like crazy. She flew to Dubai, networked a bunch. Now she has this job in New York and she's from Sydney and it happened in the span of three months. I'm like, girl, how did this happen? She's like, well, this person introduced me to that person who realized I was really fit for this job. And then this job that wasn't even on the market, they actually created it for me and now I'm in New York. The more people you meet, the better. I don't wanna hear, but I don't like people, but I'm an introvert. Well, don't be, change. <laughs> I'm kidding. Just figure out what works for you. And also, if you're a woman, utilize dating apps. I'm tired of people saying they don't like dating apps. Doors have opened for me from just being an attractive woman on a dating app, seriously, because I utilized it. I utilized being a woman as well. Don't hate the player, hate the game. But it's also important when networking that if you are someone like all your bars are low, okay? You don't really have anything to offer. You're trying to network with people who've got full bars and then you come to me, which is not uncommon. Simone, these people don't want to talk to me. Babe, what are you offering them? You have nothing to offer. Figure out your value proposition. What can you offer other people? Also, everything needs to have mutual benefits. You can't just be like, take, 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 take in a relationship then no one's going to want to help you. You have to go into every relationship, every friendship with like, how can I also help you? Let's quickly touch on beauty because I did touch on this before. Think of the beauty bar, okay? Maybe you're someone that's very average and you complain about pretty privilege. You know you can get surgery and filler. Simone is toxic for saying this. Hey, I'm not actually encouraging you getting plastic surgery. I'm just saying, if you want to do it, and you think you'll have a good ROI, then do it. Don't let other people shame you into not doing it. So I had a DM recently and this girl was basically saying to me how she feels so unattractive that she actually wanted to 
And I said to her, like, first of all, you're not unattractive. Second of all, you have a couple of options here. Number one, if you feel like no amount of therapy or self-acceptance or self-love work is ever going to make you like your face, then you can literally get surgery or fill off. You don't have to live unhappily with your features. You have the option to change it. Oh, but I wanna be natural. Okay, baby, if you wanna be natural, you better learn to start liking your natural self. And also, if you're more beautiful, you literally will just get treated better, get more things in life as well. Don't hate the player, hate the game. I said facts. Don't forget also that women, we are also a currency. We are a status symbol. That's why you see guys like Dan Bilzerian, Imangaji, in all their videos and Instagram photos, they're surrounded by women because women is women, we are the ultimate currency. You don't even need to be that attractive. You just have to look good and be presentable. You don't need to be the most beautiful in the world. Just do your best to look presentable. If you go to Europe or you have been to places like New York, Miami, LA, you'll notice in all the clubs, rich men will hire escorts to be around. And half the time the escorts are not even attractive. It's just that they're women and the women who are presentable looking. Women are a currency. Men will not even go to a club if there are no women. I'm not sure if this is necessarily tied to playing the game of life, but I just wanted to put this in here. Whenever you're making a decision, think of the ROI, the return on investment, because there will be a trade-off for everything. Is the trade-off worth it? I'll give you an example. Therapy is expensive, okay? Oh, this would be the perfect time to go into my bed. How bad? Therapy is so expensive. Let's say you don't invest the $100, $200 a week into it. So instead, you're depressed, sluggish, tired, you don't have friends, your life is not really doing much or improving. In turn, your other bars are going to deplete, your social bar will deplete because you won't want to go out, You're, you won't be happy, you won't be healthy. Versus instead, if you invested this 100, 200, likely you're going to get that back like three, four fold and all the other bars will go up. Everything is an investment. Can you see how everything is a chain reaction as well? You know what? I think that's all I really have to talk about, but to end this video, Let's talk about the things that will level you down in the game of life. Number one, losing bars and a lack of progress. Naturally, if you're not improving yourself, you're not learning more, improving your fitness, or you know, just doing anything, making progress, you're going to level down. Why? Because everything around you is changing so much. And also, like I've said in another video, this world is becoming increasingly more competitive every day, especially now because we have platforms like YouTube and TikTok and free learning platforms, AI now especially, which is making skills easier to learn. People have access to resources that they've never had in the past. To not improving your health, bad diet, drugs, drinking, smoking. Do I have to say more? Social isolation. I don't wanna hear, I'm an introvert, I hate people, blah, blah, blah. You better start to like people or at least get a couple of social interactions in per week because plenty of studies have shown that if you do not get social interaction, your risk for like mental health issues, dying early and like memory issues like Alzheimer's dementia are way more likely. Also, I don't remember the exact stat, but I learned this in my psychology degree that social isolation, it has like a higher mortality rate than getting, than smoking actually. I think that was correct. It was either smoking or cancer, but they're correlated in itself. Negative influences, duh. If your teammates in the game are shit, you're gonna be shit. Think about it. Fear and self-doubt. Get rid of it. Work on it. Get that therapist. Get a good ROI. <laughs> Lack of focus. If you can't focus, how can you perform? Where do you get your focus from? Sleeping, meditation. Good health. Don't ever burn bridges. Everyone can be a connection in some area. You never know how. So don't ever burn a bridge unless that person is very, very toxic. Okay, only focusing on yourself. What do I mean by this? A lot of the time we hear focus on yourself and everything will come. I talk about that too and it's true. But if you only focus on yourself that you become selfish, trust you're not going to level up because it's actually very hard to complete a game by yourself. And why should you? If it's easier to utilize your resources and other people's resources, then why won't you do that? And guys, like I've said, other people are playing this game. You've got to learn how to play it. You can either hate the game, 
or you can play it properly pretty much. Anyway, I hope I've given you something to think about. This is how I view the world right now, or the world at present. In March, no, we're in April. In April 2023, this is my current view of how I see things. Also, don't forget to buy my journal, themindformula.com. And we also have the Amazon paperback versions out now. Okay, love you guys.